This is my tutorial for a Valentine's Day themed hot cocoa mug. I've already prepped my tumbler with an 80 grit sanding block, but with the cooler months upon us, I decided to whip out prime time from CCDIY and mix in pink dispersion colors to get a pretty pink for my base coat. My garage gets super cold during the winter months and spray painting can be hard. Using prime time mixed with dispersion colors or paint can be a great substitute if you can't spray paint. While our paint dries, let's mix our custom glitters for our handle. I have really been ignoring my mica colors lately, so I decided to spotlight them this week. Now don't get me wrong, I love my glitter, so there will be glitter, but mica powders and flakes can still give you all the sparkly goodness. I let this mica lay a cure, sealed my handle with Krylon Triple Fig, and now we're ready for our next coat of epoxy. For our next couple of epoxy layers, I'll be adding in mica powders or flakes into my epoxy to give me some sparkle. Remember, you can always skip adding the micas or flakes if you like, but y'all should know by now of my extraness and love for all things sparkly. Let cure, and then we'll be ready to add our heart stencils.
I've already added a coat of Miss Lillian's Metallic Paint and Abalone, and now I'm applying my second coat. Once dry, I'll be ready to pull up my stencils and remove my tape. Let cure, then we'll be ready to add our word art. I sealed my layered vinyl with quick coat from CC DIY, and now I'm ready for another coat of epoxy. For this coat, I added some glitter. I almost made it, y'all, but I looked up at my glitter wall and it was calling my name. Vanessa, use some glitter. <laughs> Let this layer cure, then we'll be ready to add our whipped cream. For my drips, I have 20 milliliters of medium viscosity ready to go, and now I'm applying nice and thick epoxy thickener. 
To get it crisp and white, I'll be adding white snow dispersion color and pure mica powder from PDB Creative Studio. You're all done and you have your drips the way you like them. Set your cup where it won't be disturbed and let it cure. Which one do you think guys? The white drip, the pink drip? Personally, I think I'm leaning towards the pink. I'm really digging the pink drip on this one. But let me know what you guys like in the comments. I added one more coat of epoxy and then I was all done. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Have fun making your Valentine's Day hot cocoa mugs and I'll see you again next time.